This video summarizes the complete process of custom building the Tacom 116th US Willys MB Jeep. Basic building and assembly of the Jeep will not be shown. Engine Enhancement As mentioned, the kit comes with a full detailed engine but lacking the wirings, I added the spark plug wirings to the distributor on the other side. I used a wider vinyl tube as connector, and insert the thinner wire with CA glue. I added some more wirings based on the actual photo. Also some pipings that were added by using bent brass wires and plastic tubes. Folding seats. The real passenger seat in the Willys Jeep can be folded for rear access, and I wanted to modify the fixed seat in the kit the same way. The original mounting holes were filled for custom mounting devices to be placed. The bottom supports of the seat were to be flattened and drilled with small holes in order to make working hinges. I made a simple mounting bracket with brass sheet and wire. These brackets were glued to the floor first for painting and the seat could be easily attached to the hinges later. I wanted to make the rear seat be foldable as well like the real thing. I made work a hinges for the seat backing by using brass wire. With the added hinges, the seat could be lifted and be folded back to reveal the portable tire pump.
painting. The painting strategy is different this time with the Jeep, I wanted to try a whole new way of chipping and weathering method, it is somehow similar to hairspray method. After priming the whole model, I sprayed metallic base to the body shell and sealed with a few coats of varnishes. After the varnish was dried for 24 hours, I started to spray a lighter green color that depicts the scratched marks color beneath the vehicle finished olive drab color. This method was only used on the exposed areas of the vehicle, the chassis and the bottom were just painted in olive drab color. Again the lighter green color was sealed by another layer of varnish. I started to spray the finish olive drab color, I used Vallejo acrylic paint as it is relatively weak so that I could make scratches on the surface to reveal the underlying colors. I used the enamel thinner to soften the acrylic paint layer and used toothpicks to make chips and scratches to reveal mostly the lighter green paint. I also used cotton swab to wear off larger areas. For the interior of the vehicle, I used chipping medium to achieve a more severe heavy traffic worn off effect. With chipping medium, I only need to use water to wear off the acrylic paint, it was much more effective to wear off the paint. I touched up some worn areas with olive drab to achieve the desired level of weathered surface. Remember the base layer was metallic color, I could reveal this layer by harder rubbing and with sanding sponge for the really heavy traffic areas like the floor and edges. I was very pleased with this way of weathering in layers, although I could always paint the worn off colors on top of the finish color the way I usually do, I think this way is lot more real to the eyes. I used thinned out flat black color to add shading effect to the recessed areas.
I use Tamiya Black Pain Liner Solution Panel Wash all the detail areas. When I washed off the solution, I could use the swab to create the streaking effect at the same time. I used the MIGS oil and grease stain mixture to apply on the engine and the axle areas. I also added the spatter glossy oil stain effect on the engine and on the chassis. And more on the lubricated areas on the axle and engine. The rusted manifold on the engine was painted with rust texture paint then washed over with rust color pigment. The exhaust pipe was also treated the same way. I used the gun metal pigment to highlight the engine block details along the edges. wiring. To further enhance the engine block area, I added some more connecting wires including the battery cables and the headlights.
weathering. The bottom of the vehicle should be accumulated with dry and wet mud over a period of time, this was created by applying Europe earth mixed with city dark dust pigments. It was then brushed over with Tamiya acrylic thinner and let it dry. It should look like this after dried. Same was done to the chassis. I used the AK's wet ground terrain paste for the wet mud accumulation around the wheel skirts. The wheels were also be treated the same way with the mudding effect. The earth streaking effect on the side of the body was created the similar way as the bottom. Some light dirt and rust streaks were painted with pigments. I also used AK's weathering pencils for rust streaks. I applied the spatter effect with pigment mixed with water and not thinner so that it could be cleaned up if went onto the unwanted areas. The spatter should mostly be shown around the bottom and around the wheel areas. The unwanted spatter could be cleaned up easily with water. I later sprayed over with varnish to permanently affix the spatter so it could not be easily wiped off when touched. The extent of wipers on the windshield were marked on a masking tape so that it could be cut out for masking. A light mist layer of dark yellow was sprayed over the windshield.
I made some white streak marks by applying the paint again and immediately wiped off with a cotton swab. I added the locking threads with chains to the M2 machine gun with brass wires. The black painted M2 then applied with gun metal pigment and with Mr. Metal Color Iron to highlight the details with metallic finishes. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe to my channel.